Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be doing a scratch, uh, scratch project to do with a ball and paddle. Basically, it's where you have a paddle and it moves along the screen and you move it with your finger or mouse and the ball bounces off of it and it counts scores. And if it hits the bottom and does not touch the paddle, it ends the game. So let's get into it. Okay, okay. So what we need to do is we'll first go into sprites and we'll choose a sprite. If I was you, click ball. I'm going to change the name to ball, ball, and we're going to customize it. So I'd like to just make mine any color. So for now, I'm going to make it yellow or blue. Actually, yeah, I like blue. So now we need to make the paddle. So we're going to go and search up Paddle. And now we're just going to fill it in. But if I was you, make it a different colour. Because as you can see, you won't know where the ball is. Because it would be very weird. So like that. See? We're going to move this down. And now we need to add the damage. So for this, we'll search up a line. And pick this line out. And we'll just put it at the bottom there. And last of all, we need to add the variable, which is make a variable and you'll do score. As so. And you'll press OK. So as you can see, look, there is a score up there. So now we get to do the mechanics. So on code, you will click when clicked, switch costume to ball ball and switch backdrop to backdrop one and then we will do point in direction 45 and then we'll do forever in control we will do move 15 steps If on edge bounce. So now let's try that. So as you can see, it's bouncing off the edges. So it works. Now we will need to add the paddle to touch it. So we will do when clicked forever if then. If then, touching, paddle, change, score by one, and then we will do turn, and then we'll do random 180 to 190 and move 15 steps just to make sure so now we have the paddle but you still can't move the paddle yet which we will sort out soon and it does bounce off of it see so now we will do the paddle. So, with the paddle, we will need to do when flag clicked forever if then touching the ball. And how we would do touching the ball is we do touching and ball. We stop all down here so now if touching the ball it will do, uh, stop it for all and that is for the line so now that I've showed you the code put it inside of the line and then we'll do the physics on the ball 
So let me quickly do a time lapse of me putting it into the line. Okay, now that we have done that, we can move on to the paddle. So on the paddle, when clicked, switch costume to paddle and forever, set X. Set X to Where is it? Mouse X. So now if we move it, you can move it around and do this, but if it touches the thing, it stops. And when you end start it, it starts moving. So as you can see it's already working and on score, every time you do the score, it does a score. Very cool. It works. So now we need to do the extra touches to make sure that this game works. So we'll do extra levels and we will make sure that it's fair. So on the ball, when clicked, set score to zero. So when you spawn, it's not your previous score so that it's fair because it needs to start to redo the levels. And now we will do the levels. So, first of all, we will do the backdrops and the other wall balls. First of all, we will do a backdrop. So what we will need to do is just change it back, uh, first, the, change the first backdrop to whatever you want. For this, I'm gonna make it purple because it matches with the blue. So there you go, it's purple. But now for the next one, I'm going to completely change the background to come something completely different. And that will be blue. Like that. See? And it always starts on backdrop 1. That's what we did with the ball code. Up there. So now, with the ball, we will need to add special code to make sure that this works. So what we're going to want to do is we're gonna do when um, the flag clicked wait until score which will be this one we'll put our score block in here and then we'll change this to whatever we need to change the level I will do five then we'll do next backdrop and then we'll do switch costume to a different costume. So this would be ball E. So now let's see if this works. So it's on purple, you've got the ball. Here's in the ball. Four, five, and six. And as you can see, the ball has changed and the background. So I hope this tutorial helped you and you can go on your way to create your own versions of the levels just by doing this. Doing the same thing which we've already done, but changing the level system to a different number and adding score. And obviously doing next backdrop and switching to a different costume which you can customize yourself. So I hope this tutorial helped, make sure to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, share with your friends and watch the rest of my videos which I begin to post of Scratch tutorials. So.